हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू ब्लॉक प्रोजेक्ट इन लारावेल टेन लास्ट वीडियो वी वर डिस्कस अबाउट लाइक अ रिप्लाई कमेंट सो पुट डू यू वांट टू वर्क एज अ रिप्लाई कमेंट सो यू कैन चेक इट लाइक लास्ट वीडियो बिकॉज वंस ब्लॉक ब्लॉग इन साइड यू कैन राइट सम कमेंट आफ्टर डू यू वॉन्ट टू मेड अ रिप्लाई सो वी एवर डिड इन साइड लास्ट वीडियो इन दिस वीडियो वी कैन वर्क लाइक अ चेंज पासवर्ड बिकॉज सम यूजर लॉग इन लाइक अ ऑल यूजर एडमिन कैन लॉग इन अदर यूजर कैन लॉग इन सो ही नीड टू डू लाइक अ चेंज पासवर्ड so how we can do it like a change passwords so we need to cover in this video okay so you are new in the channel other in this series so please subscribe and please press the bell icon so whatever content we are uploading so you always get the notification and you can start immediately learning and i have one another website like error solution code.com so do you want to buy any scripts so just go to website and you can buy any scripts about the whatever work inside here okay so you can do it easily okay so let's start now and i can explain how we can do it like a change password so i hope you are done open your code so just you can go to like a backends backend you need to go to like a layouts inside you need to go to like a sidebar because of we need to create a first menu about the sidebar so let's copy and let's clear the code some because here is like annoying code about like a dashboard codes like a help and inbox so let's remove i don't want to read this one right now because we need we can add okay just you can remove now, right now also you can go to dashboard.blade.php and you can choose all and remove it okay and also we don't need this one so just remove because we need to make a clean code so you can understand easily let's go back again refresh the page so you can check like a dashboard is clear okay so taking few seconds and after you can see it like a dashboard you see and also here menu also removed so now we need to create a new function as a like a change password just copy and you can add now here like a change password so paste to we can change like a change passwords also we need to change here like a url panel change passwords and also we need to make like a active class so you can change like a not is equal to segment 2 is equal to change password so it's going to inside like this is very simple you know mean okay so you can do it like this so it's very simple now you are done let's go back again refresh the page so you can see it like a new menu here you can find out like change password let's change the icon so let's go back again we can try key here okay because the password is a one types of <laughs> key so let's go back and refresh the page so we can check here's the key is working very well okay so let's click on this menu and we need to create first url because this url is not created so let's go to routes and i just close routes inside web.php just scroll down so here is the admin routes because this is the uh, url work like admin side and user side so we need to go bottom one like admin users we can change means we can copy and change the url like panel ad dashboard so we need to use here like a uh, panel change password so it's very simple just you can go and here also you can change like a change passwords so let's copy and put here and here also you can change passwords okay now we don't want to use user controller because we have already their user controller so we can use here like a user controller just you can change to user controller because this is the like user side need to works so you can change okay now you need to open your user controller so simple you can go to apps and you need to go to inside a uh, user controllers means app http inside user controller and you need to open so let's save and i just go to user controllers and scroll down and we can create here new hello functions change passwords and here we need to write same thing just go up you can copy like edit one other whatever you want to like you can just copy and you can put here and i don't want to need like get record also i don't want to pass here data so just remove so do you want to create a new folder inside do you want to work is a file and do you want to make like directly also you can possible your end but i need to do like inside user side like a change password new file because this is the one type of pass user works so user work also always going to inside a users folders user directories whatever you can think your sides okay some people say directory some people say like a folder so i just say like folder directory whatever you want to like so we can make like a create a new file like change password.blade.php 
after you can go any file like add file either edit file you can copy let's copy like add file because add file inside no any data access like database access okay so let's save and just go back again refresh the page so we can check here is working not working it's working because of i have not saved these files let's save and just go back again refresh the page so you can see it like a change password is automatic active because of we have already work as a segment now here we need to change like change password we need to do like here is like old password new password and confirm password and we need to remove the status so it's very simple just go to like a old password here because first we need to check in our database this is the password is matching yes it's matching so he going to inside otherwise no need to go inside after we do like new passwords third one is a like confirm passwords okay and last one we need to remove status and here we can change like submit to update passwords whatever do you want to like you can write your message passwords so let's change the name we don't want to need a value so every place you can remove the value because we don't want to need and also we don't want to need like this validation so just you can clear the validations okay now here is a already their name is a confirm password you can type like a confirm passwords and here you can change like a email to new passwords and also here you can change like a name to old passwords okay here all place is email to text to password because is a type you can change like the passwords okay and here you can change like add new user to you can make like a change passwords so it's clear like a old password new password and confirm passwords let's save these files and just go back again refresh the page so you can check like our form is ready like a old password new password and confirm password now what we can do you are click on the update password so we need to check first old password is a matching to our database column uh, otherwise not matching so we need to show here error so after we need to check like new password and confirm password is the same yes is the same so we can told him you can update password otherwise we can told him confirm pass confirm password does not match to new password so we can show like this errors okay so let's try so we don't want to make like means we need to make a url but we don't want to make like action inside any other urls we can use like same url so we can pass here blank because we need to use like a same things okay so let's go back again go to web and here you can create like a new url and you can change like a post and here we need to change like a change password to update passwords let's go to user controller and we need to create a new function as a like a function update passwords request dollar request let's debug so debugging mode is good idea so very simple all and save okay let's go back again refresh the page and i can add like a whatever password you want to like you can add okay i just click on the update passwords just close so you can check here like old passwords new password and confirm password i don't know what is this because it's already saved this reason i leave it and you can see like a request request okay so let's make all the condition one by one so first we need to get the user data whatever user login we need is data so save to users and here i can pass like auth users id because whatever user login we need to get his data and this is the function already created inside user model you can see it here get singles you see and auth how you can got auth because of you are login so your authentication inside you can find out your id suppose i'm going to up so you can see it is already declaration and also here declaration hash okay so we don't want to declare hash so our first condition if hash check what you need to check like your old password request old passwords comma we need to check like your dollar user passwords so this is the matching so it's going to inside otherwise we need to go else part we need to make return redirect back and with here i can type like error and here we can type like old password is incorrect whatever do you want to type your message you can type here old password is incorrect does not match whatever does not match okay 
so whatever message do you want to type you can type here now next point we need to check like if new passwords and confirm password is equal to, is equal to same so it's going to inside <laughs> i am typing very fast because like this the you know okay it's just going to else part and we need to show another message like a uh, confirm password does not match to new password so just we can remove and here we can type confirm password does not does not match to new passwords okay so this is the message do you want to show when we can change the spelling confirm passwords okay now here we need to write like update password because of we have checked three condition like two condition first we have checked like a uh, old password wise and second condition we have checked like uh, is the same both password so it's going to inside so now we need to write here like another condition not condition update code like users dollar users password has make whatever do you want to like you can use like new password also use the confirm password whatever do you want to like uh, use so let's copy and you can put bottom one okay and after you can save now here we can do like a same like success message your password successfully updated like here we can do it like success and here you can change like a message your password successfully updated okay so this is the done now update password columns means update password code is the logic is it done let's try is working not working before working we need to show our message because without message how i how we know is working not working so just you can include what do you want to include you need to include inside layouts dot like your messages okay it's very simple and very easy so include is done so let's try is working not working let's go let's press control f5 so it's automatic you redirect and you can see it like a message like old password does not match you can see it so 1 2 3 4 5 6 and now i can write like confirm password means new password 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and also i can type like a 1 2 3 4 5 6 so here we need to check like another condition this condition like go to user controller this condition confirm password does not match to new passwords let's try now and click on the updates what worry about this the browser shrink you can see so both condition working very well now we need to add like our main password 1 2 3 4 5 6 about old password and new password i can add same password and confirm password also i add same okay now i will click on the update password so you can see it here message your password successfully updated so meaning about like any user log in and he need to update his password so he can go to like change password tabs change password menu and he can update same thing functionality we have done inside admin side because of we have used like admin user out because i already explained suppose you can hear proper way okay now i am going admin at gmail.com and password is a 1 2 3 4 5 6 so you can see it like a <coughs> like a change password do you want to update here password for the admin so you can do it okay and here you can see it like a admin so in this video i will explain how to change the password next video we can do it like a account setting so you click on the account setting you need to update your like a uh, images means uh, you update your profile also you update your name also you update your uh, i think name and profile enough i think we need to add like more do you want to add like address you can do it in your personal project because this is the like a uh, explanation how it's work block so do you want to do more information so you can ask to user is very simple we can update the email name so you just just go to database column and into do okay like a uh, create a new column and you can update inside like bio i think we can cover also bio because we need to author page we need to create so also need a bio okay inside a front side so we can do it so don't worry about that i hope you have a clear about change password so next video i already explain what we can doing so do you want to work start right now so you can start okay 
and i want request you are new in the channel as well in the series so please subscribe and please press the bell icon so whatever content we are uploading so you get the notification you can start immediately new thing learning and thank you for watching error solution and i uh, i have another good news for you and good news for me because of i am starting now new series this is a series like a react chase tutorial for beginners in laravel 10 suppose this is the user so you can find out like basic funda but not using laravel so this is the funda i will clear inside the laravel right now i have read some points but i know is like 100 point 99 like two like 120 points is available inside laravel but i just read like 21 points so i will create for this video another video for this new series and i can explain all thing about laravel 10s inside how to work react js tutorials for beginners in laravel you can understand for this title what i did because title inside i already explained what i am explaining for this series okay introduction installation hello world folder structure component functional component class component hook updates javascript xml components and props everything i can explain in this series so this series i think i hope you can enjoy and you can learn something new about react.js because right now i'm doing like a old coding old fashions but red let's go now new fashions wise then we can make like a big big video and you can learn something new in this channel's error solution and i hope you can understand what i am saying and thank you for watching error solutions